Coach Michael is playing from main event here uh, in Los Angeles. The pound for pound superstar Terrence Crawford challenges Idril Majorov for the WBA and WBO interim world super welterweight titles on August 3rd in an event promoted by Riyadh Season US seller Liga A Matrim in association with Gold Star, Queensbury, TGB and Viva MP Promotions. Uh, Crawford is gunning to become a full weight world champion as he moves up to 154 pounds after conquering the world's weight division with that stunning KO win over Errol Spence to be crowned the undisputed champion at 147 pounds back in July in Las Vegas. And now the pound for pound great is looking to further his greatness by claiming honours at a fourth weight class. Madrimov is the man that stands in Crawford's way and the Uzbek champion makes his first defence of his title against the toughest possible opponent after winning that belt in spectacular fashion in his last bouting against Majimov Kurbanov for the vacant title back in March in Riyadh. He stopped the Russian in five rounds with a dominant performance to continue his impressive unbeaten run in a paid ranks following a glittering amateur career. And now it's time to hear from the fighters, from the promoters. Well, Eddie, I want to start with you. I know you always back your fighters. I think you know more than anyone just how tough a task this is for Israel Majimov. Oh, for sure. Thanks, Eddie. And, and before we start, I think we just need to acknowledge again the event that has been announced today. Riyadh season card coming to Los Angeles, BMO Stadium, 25,000 people. It's going to be, I think, the best card top to bottom we've seen in America. His Excellency, thank you so much, Dr. Rekhan. All the work that's gone on in really the last 48, 72 hours. I mean, let's take a look. This guy to my right, the pound for pound number one in the school. Three division world champion. Broke our hearts in Scotland many years ago when he beat Richard Burns. Undisputed at 140. Undisputed at 147. I think everybody now giving him the props as a generational great. The man to my left, this guy is, is super elite. You know, when he won the world title with ease in Riyadh, to take your first defence against Terence Crawford shows you what he's all about. I promise you this guy will bring everything to this fight. This is a very dangerous, dangerous fight for Terence Crawford. I believe Bomac and the guys, they know that. And big respect to Terence. He stepped straight up and fight absolutely anybody. And just looking at the card once again, I think it's important to break it down, as I said. Terence Crawford against Israel Madrimov, the WBA and the WBO Interim World Championships. Isaac Cruz against Jose Valenzuela for the WBA 140 pound title. Jarrell Miller against Andy Ruiz back in Los Angeles. And what a fight between Tim Zhu and Virgil Ortiz Jr. at 154 pounds as well. David Morrell against Rob Rodler, WBA light heavyweight world championship. Andy Cruz against Moran and still more to be announced. This is, I believe, the greatest fight card top to bottom the US has ever seen. And thank you to these two great fighters. As I said, it's an honor to, to be working with Lee Wan and, and Terence and his promotional company and all the promoters as part of this Riyadh season event. As always, I back my man. This guy is a super athlete, huge puncher, huge 154 pounder. And all the respect to the corporate team, but my man ready to keep his championship in Los Angeles on August 3rd. Yeah, let's speak to uh, Madrimov's manager, uh, Vadim Kornilov, uh, to your far left. Uh, Vadim, you always put your fighters in tough fights, and you always ask your fighters to be in the biggest fights. That, this definitely ticks both of those boxes, doesn't it? It's really about the boxer himself wanting the toughest fight. And, uh, to be honest with you, Israel and anything can come to this heavy fight he's had so far. If there was a choice, you know, we would pick the toughest opponent we could get as he was coming up. And uh, when I called the team, you know, and I called my brother Alik and I said, you know, we have this opportunity. At that point, we were discussing the possibility of having Israel defend this title in Uzbekistan at home. And I was like, you know, there's this opportunity and, you know, opportunities like this come, you know, once in a lifetime sometimes. We might have it today, we might not have it tomorrow. And, you know, all the respect to Team Crawford for taking a tough fight because I think this is going to be a real, real competitive fight. And I, I hope that, uh, you know, Terence Crawford is going to 154 with all the confidence that he's been in all the other divisions as well. You know, as Eddie always said uh, before, he always said that uh, Matt Dumas is a top prospect, you know, one of the best prospects uh, in the world. He, he said that publicly before, and uh, I believe that now it's all proving, um, and, and Israel is here to make a point and show everybody what he's made of. I think, uh, you know, and another point is that after the Uzbekistan situation, when I told Madrimov and the guys that the fight's going to be in Los Angeles, uh, they said, you know, this is, this is no different from Uzbekistan, because 
uh, Joel Diaz, Tony Diaz. Uh, Israel has been training in Indio, California, basically every camp. I think every camp is trained over there. So this is like a second home for him. And he was even more excited about that than anything else. And, you know, this is, this is him basically defending his title in his second home, and uh, we're looking forward to this fight. I just want to make sure that uh, nobody forgets that when uh, His Excellency uh, Turkey al Ship wants to fight, he wants two top guys fighting each other, no matter what division it is. And uh, we have to remember that I think the reason this fight is happening is just because uh, him and Dr. Rokhan and you know the entire team, they wanted the best possible fight for Terence Crawford, and I think that's what he's going to get. Yeah, well said, Vadim. Uh, let's go to Terence Crawford's trainer, uh, Brian McIntyre, Bowman. Uh, so far, so good, Bowman, right? Everyone that's tried to step up to Terence Crawford, you found a game plan, and you've been able to win every single time. How does this challenge differ? Maybe because of the weight job. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you for everybody. Uh, you know, all the promoters and the guys that, you know, put on the show. We uh, appreciate the, you know, the challenge. Um, this is it's a tough fight, man. It's a tough fight. I told, told the team and Terrence that, man, you know, we got to be laser focused on this guy. Uh, I've been watching him since the amateurs when he fought uh, one of the staple mates. Um, so, you know, I know what he brings to the table. And I definitely know what his, uh, his team and his trainers are doing well. You know, they always train hard. They got great champions coming out that camp. Uh, but, you know, we up for the champions. Because uh, one thing, we're on, we on a mission. We're trying to win the fight. We're trying to be honest and undisputed again. So, right now, we're looking at him like, you know, a good challenge, but overall, he's just in the way. Was there any, maybe, thought uh, about maybe just stepping your toes in the 154-pound division against an elite guy, but maybe not a world champion, just to see how Terrence looks at 154? Well, you know, uh, um, I'm sure we all feel like this, and I know Bud feel like this, is um, in order to do, uh, be the best, you must be the best. And so, so far, he's the best at 154, and um, that's what we're looking for. So, you know, we pound for pound number one, and uh, we're going to continue uh, from 54 to 60, 68, or whatever. You know? So, be <coughs> ready. Terrence certainly looks ready. I know you will have Terrence ready as well. Let's speak to the fighters. I want to start with the champion first, Israel Majumov. Israel, I was in Riyadh as you destroyed Kerbinov. Up next is a man that you know is the pound for pound number one fighter on the planet. Was there any hesitation? in taking this fight. Uh, 